Welcome to this session on ChatGPT as a learning tool. We will talk about a 5W framework that is usually an amazing way to learn any new programming language. Who in this is what role you want ChatGPT to play? What is what do you want to learn? When is the timeline of till what time you can learn it in? Where is the resources or places you want to study from? And why is the context for learning this particular programming language? Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on how to use ChatGPT as a general learning tool. So till now we know that ChatGPT is an incredible powerful tool for developers. We will see how you can use it for various functions in the next few videos. Let's start by understanding how you can use it as a general learning tool which can allow you to ask questions and receive detailed explanations on various programming topics. Whether you need to understand a new concept, explore a technology, or clarify a complex algorithm, ChatGPT is here to help. In this video, we will learn how to make a detailed study plan to learn an entirely new programming language. Let's take a simple scenario where I am working in a company as a software developer, and I have a really good understanding of Java. But now my manager has put me on a new project and the requirement of this project is to learn JavaScript from scratch for front-end development. The first thing I will do is dread going on the internet to find resources, go to Stack Overflow or other websites to get whatever I can. In addition to that, I might not have the time and bandwidth to plan and find relevant resources in the given timelines. I would love it if I had an intern who would plan the entire thing and send it to me as soon as possible. Let us see how we can do that using ChatGPT and create a step-by-step -step plan to learn JavaScript for front-end. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends hoping to learn ChatGPT. Also, do let us know in the comments if you have any questions, suggestions or requests for more information and we will be happy to incorporate it in the next video. So the first thing that you can see on your screen here is either a login or a sign up button. You can sign up with your existing Gmail ID. I have already logged in with my Gmail account. So let's go to the ChatGPT homepage. As you can see, I have no conversations up till now. So what I will do, I will just start a new chat which is already present on the screen and I will give a very simple prompt. Give me a detailed study plan to learn JavaScript from scratch for front-end development. So let us see what ChatGPT gives us. Till then, let us rename our chat as study plan for JavaScript for us to refer it later easily. Okay. Let's review this response step by step. It has given me different phases where it tells me to learn the basics of JavaScript, HTML, CSS, then go to DOM manipulation, then understand advanced JavaScript concepts. And uh, phase four, it tells me to learn the popular JavaScript libraries like React, Vue. And phase five, it tells me to do a practice or a project work based on the concepts learned so far. It also gives me reassurance by saying, remember to practice regularly, which sounds great, honestly. But this is not enough. This is a very vague, high-level plan of how to learn JavaScript. Let's edit our prompt a little bit so that we get what we need and we get a very detailed JavaScript plan so that it is very easy for me as a developer to invest my time in it. Even though it did give a pretty elaborate answer, it is still not given me enough details. Let us modify our prompt and ask, Give me a study plan to learn JavaScript for front-end development with, resource, with resources 
and a timeline. It says, certainly, let me just provide you with the resource links and the timeline. As you can see on the screen, it is giving me a timeline according to the phase. The first phase includes two to three weeks of basics of JavaScript, and it has given me very good resources, that is for sure. Then it has given me two to three weeks for DOM and three to four weeks for advanced JavaScript, which is uh, correct. And at the end, it has the practice and projects, which can go on as long as you want them to. Okay, looks pretty good. Let us refine it more by applying a simple study framework to it by asking the question in a who, what, when, where, why manner. So this is a 5W framework that is usually an amazing framework to learn a new programming language. Who in this is what role you want ChatGPT to play? What is what do you want to learn? When is the timeline of till what time you can learn it in? Where is the kind of resources or places you want to study from? And why is the context for learning this particular language? By the way, if you want to learn about generative AI in far more depth and detail than what I'm covering here, we have a lot of courses of AI and ML from top universities in India and the world. Link is pinned in the comments. Go check it out. Let us see how this query looks like. I have already written down a simple query which looks like this. I am asking ChatGPT that act as a tutor that helps create study plans to help people learn how to code. You will be provided with the goal of the student, the study preferences and their time commitment. You will have to create a study plan according to all of these parameters. Only include relevant resources links as time is limited. My first request for this is, I am a backend developer, but I do not know how to code the front end. I have very limited knowledge of HTML and CSS. I want to become a front end developer and I can give only 10 to 12 hours a week. I would like to have only video resources and links where I can practice code. I want to learn this in JavaScript. Help me create a study plan. So let's send this to ChatGPT and see what kind of plan it comes up with. Okay. It is definitely giving me more video resources, just like I mentioned. Let us look at the response that ChatGPT has given me. It starts with HTML, CSS basics. It has given Code Academy. Okay. Traversy Media. I have personally seen these videos and they are really, they are pretty good. JavaScript, basics of JavaScript, DOM manipulation, advanced JavaScript. Even though this is a very good, uh, a very good plan, it is a bit steep for advanced JavaScript. Definitely, it might take a little more time. And React as well. React is a very wide framework to learn. But overall, it has given me a very solid base to start from. This looks like a very good plan for me to start my learning journey with. But this has given me a pretty solid base to start with. But there is still a chance to improve this plan. This helps you learn in a very breadth first search manner. In order for you to learn something thoroughly, you need to learn it in a length first fashion. That is, apply the concepts you learn. Coding has a very applied learning curve. You cannot learn a new programming language if you do not apply it somewhere. To refine your study plan a bit more, what you can do is ask ChatGPT to give you ideas for projects where you can apply those concepts. Let's ask ChatGPT that act as an expert front-end developer and create a simple front-end project on JavaScript and React for a e-commerce website. It gives us a step-by-step -step guide to start the e-commerce project on React and JavaScript. It has also given us in instructions on what are the default files, what kind of code will go into which file, what is the component structure, what are the different uh, state 
the what are the different products that you need to put in what will be the cart functionality what will what what kind of styling you will have to provide these are some of the high level instructions that the chat gpt has given you to start your project with it can definitely be refined more the more your query is refined the more your response will be refined so the entire response that you want to get out of chat gpt depends on the input that you provide to it so this was about creating a simple study plan using chat gpt it's not perfect definitely but it is a pretty good plan this was one of the ways you can use chat gpt to become a versatile developer you saw in this video that how important it is to learn to give good prompts this actually has a term called prompt engineering prompt engineering is the process of crafting effective prompts or instructions to guide the behavior of language models like chat gpt it involves strategically designing the input text provided to the model in order to elicit the desired output or response with chatgpt like advancement it has helped create jobs like prompt engineers which has already gained a lot of popularity in the industry it is like having an intern do simple mundane tasks in a faster way